How's it going, guys? Tactics HD here, bringing episode 64, my NHL 14, Hawk of the Team Road Glory series. In this episode, guys, uh, we're going right into a game here, and uh, we're now in Division 2, so obviously all these games are pretty important. We don't want to get relegated again. We'd like to get promoted in Division 1. As you guys can see, starting off there with the goal against us, the one goal lead. And uh, as I was saying about the Division 2, guys, I'm pretty sure this is actually an elite playoff game, so I uh, had to change what I just said. But as you guys can see, we got the win there, 2 nothing. Finally won an elite playoff game. We haven't won one in a while. Stasty, Bergeron and uh, Messi and we're the three stars of the game there so going into round two guys looking to advance I don't think we've made it probably round two in the elite playoffs yet it's uh, been a pretty tough time for us here in the elite playoffs so uh, looking to advance here as you guys can see half of the first period here guy was going to skate up snipe that one far corner on the goalie just perfect shot there giving us the one goal lead and then right here five minutes left in the first he puts one in just a backhand five hold Marlow kind of a cheeky goal tying up a one apiece then beginning the second period here Duchesne's gonna get the pass score on the penalty kill giving us the 2-1 lead and a little bit later guys still in the second period here still early he's on the power play he snipes one of his own there with Hall from the slot tying up a two apiece right after that though Hedman on our own power play from a five minute major uh, puts that one in, gives us a 3-2 lead, and then right there, Helm gets tripped up on a breakaway, so we have a penalty shot now, chance to give us a two-goal lead, which would be huge in this game, so coming in slow here with Helm, doing a couple deeks, trying to be fancy, and I'm just tucking this one in the backhand, in the back of the net, so uh, that was actually the final goal of the game, and the final score is 4-2, to so we actually advanced by round 2 into round 3, like I said, I think this is the first time we made it to round 3 in the Elite Plow, so pretty exciting, we win this game, and this next game, sorry, yeah, we'll be in the finals, playing against TJ King 17 here. So, going to be a good game, probably. And uh, as you guys can see early here, trying to get that puck out of those, our zone. But unfortunately, he gets it, walks in, and scores. And that was early in the first, uh, not even a minute in. And then right here, guys, a little bit after, he puts another one in there, making it a uh, two-goal lead. So, not a good way to start, but luckily right there, Duchesne makes a nice deke, gives it to Hall, and he puts that one in the back of the net, giving us the 2-1 game. And then right here, guys, Zyberg's going to win that one to Hedman. He puts another one in the back of the net. Tying up a two apiece. Still early in the second period here. Taze breaks through the defenders. Goes backhand forehand. Gives us a 3-2 lead. A lot of game left though. But luckily we now have the lead. And as you guys can see right now. He's on the power play. Just doing some passing. Kind of a weak goal there. And then right there he puts another one in from the slot. Give him the 4-3 win as we went to overtime. And unfortunately we uh, couldn't hold out. So close game. Unfortunately we just fell short. But uh, good to see we definitely made some progress. Before we were almost always losing first game of the league playoffs. This time we were one goal away uh, from making the final. Right here, guys, I'm going to show you the final goal. It was such a joke. Kessler passes that puck with his glove right to Giroux, who's in the slot. Try to I uh, stick lift it from him. He somehow gets it back and puts it in. So, really unfortunate goal there to uh, put us out of the playoffs. But anyway, guys, uh, right here, we're taking a quick look at the trade pile. A lot of stuff sold there. Most of that stuff's from the uh, pack openings. I think the Niemi there was from the Zan Jose collection I did a while ago. was still trying to sell him. And uh, right here, guys, you can see some more stuff being sold. Nothing really crazy expensive here, but uh, it all adds up, and that's what a lot of guys, you know, kind of forget. You can't just discard, uh, discard everything or a quick sell everything, whatever you want to call it. Uh, if you sell it all, you'll make, a, you'll, you'll be astounded by how many pucks you can make back. Anyway, guys, as you can see here, right actually, I, right here, I sold my team to Shane. Like I was saying earlier, I tried him out. And I didn't think that he played much better than the regular Duchesne. I didn't think he was worth the uh, extra 450k, that's for sure. So decided to let him go there. So number 475, we bought him for 440. So we actually made a little bit of profit as we bought him during the team of the year market crash. And uh, anyway, guys, right here we actually are finally in Division 2 game. Getting the early lead there with a one goal uh, from Kessler. And then right here, guys, Raymond's going to feed Helm. He walks in, forehand, backhand there. Giving us a two goal lead. Now five minutes in the second. We're on the penalty kill, trying to stay in. Right there, that shot gets redirected right to him. Hiller's out of position. They now have the 2 1 lead. And then, as you guys can see, right there, they put another one in, tying it up early in the third, making it 2 2. So, this game also went to overtime, unfortunately. Right there, rebound pops right out to Pash Ready. He buries that. Give them the 3 2 win. Or, sorry, yeah, 3 2 win. So, another game went to overtime, another unfortunate loss for us. And uh, that was Hiller's second game. It really didn't impress me. So, Hiller's probably going to be put in the trade pile. Those little guys right there, you can see, I sold Holpe for 2,000 bucks. So, not a bad profit there from Holpe. And uh, right here, guys, going to another game, looks to be playing another uh, Quebec player. And right here, feeding Bergeron, gets it on the breakaway, gets stopped there, but luckily Gabrick's there to bury that rebound, giving us the one goal lead. And then five minutes left in the second period here, trying to clear the puck. He picks it up, goes backhand, 5 1 Rene there, tying up a one apiece. And then dying seconds of the second period, he gets a breakaway, puts that one in, getting the 2 1 lead. And then right here, guys, He's going to step up with Buffalo again. I think this shot goes right in on Rene. Gave him a 3-1 lead. And then right here, 45 seconds left. Trying to tie it up. Taze finds Hall, making it 3-2. 30 seconds left. Unfortunately, just wasn't enough time for us to come back. But as you guys can see, after that goal, he actually disconnected. And we got the win. So, really lucked out on that one. Probably, uh... 
Probably wouldn't have scored in those last 30 seconds. As well, guys, right there, you can see I picked up an Anthony Manta for 2500 Just figured uh, he was pretty cheap. Uh, a Wings fan, his best Wings prospect. Figured I could try him out. Also, guys, right here, you can see I did the Nashville collection. Not the hardest collection to do, really. You just got to put a bunch of pucks in Shea Weber, Rene, and then the Bronze Rask, and that's about it. Also, guys, like I was saying, I decided to help, uh, sell Hillary. He wasn't playing too good. Right there, though, I can, you see I picked up a Team League Applicator for just over 10 k Also, guys, picking up a Hockey Fights Cancer Howard here. You guys are going to see I'm picking up a bunch of Red Wings players. I figured I wanted to... Switch a team up, bring in some Red Wings and try them out. I'm also picking up a Milestone Alfredson for 40k, and I'm picking up this Team League Franz in the 90 overall one for 63k. So, bringing in some Red Wings. They're not in the lineup yet. I plan on doing some more shuffling around, but uh, we're here, guys, when you're playing another game in Division 2. No goals in the first period here. Five to the second, though. He gets that one on the cross crease, making it 1 0. And then three minutes left in the third period here, trying to tie this one up. Post overtime. You can see Zetterberg finds Kessler there, making it 1 1. And a couple minutes later, Nash comes down, beats him on the backhand, giving us the 2 1 lead and the win. So huge comeback there. Scored two late goals in the third period. So we're now 2 0 1 in uh, Division 2, looking really good. And uh, that was actually Howard's first start, and he got the third start of the game. So Hockey Bates Cancer Howard looks pretty good, 1 overall better than the regular Howard. A little guy's right there. I picked up a Team League Fowler. Heard really good things about him. Really good offensive defenseman. So I figured I might be able to try him out somewhere in our top six defensemen. And then right here, guys, you can see are some more cards I sold. I sold a bunch of bronze cards here, as well as some of the Nashville collection cards. I had a bunch of bronze cards uh, getting stored up in my collection, so I decided to go through sell some of them and you know like i was saying before guys just makes more sense to sell that stuff than to quick sell it also guys right here making a huge trade offer offering hockey fights cans of taste and 150,000 pucks for winter classic datsuk that's about a 700k value and uh the datsuk's worth uh 700 or the datsuk had a buy now of 719 so if i get on the beginning i'll be saving about 20k and as you guys can see about an hour later i went back to the watch list and seen that it said current bid 150 and i was freaking out and as you guys can see we got a winter classic pavel datsuk so uh, Pavel Dax is one of my favorite players, so I was pretty happy as well. The Winter Classic one is one overall better throughout, so uh, it's going to be sick to see how he plays. As well, guys, right here, picking up a couple more Detroit players. Picked up a Team Week Tatar there, the Slovakian one, for 20k. Might have overpaid, as well as a leg one for 9k. And right here, guys, we're pick, uh, opening up a couple packs. You guys may wonder why I'm doing this. Uh, Sad was sick the other day. Asked me to open a couple packs for him for his pack a day. So here's our first pack, 8,750 pack. Not the greatest, as you guys can see. We got Tyler Kennedy. And that's pretty much it. So the Red Wing Designer card, I think I sold for about a thousand. That's about it. But right here, guys, opening up a second eight thousand seven hundred fifty pack, looking for something good here. So obviously we want something good here for Sod's pack a day. And as you guys can see, we picked up a Dion Phaneuf. That's our second Phaneuf. The first one we got in a free pack, and this one we got in a regular pack as well. Not only did we get Phaneuf, we got another Toronto player in Joffrey Lupul. And uh, Lupul's better than average for sure. He doesn't sell for you know eight hundred or a thousand pucks. He sells for around two K usually. So a pretty good pack there. Uh, you know, definitely worth the 8,750 pucks. And uh, right here, guys, this is the last game of the episode. We're actually trying out Winter Classic Datsuk in this game, but he's the only player we're trying out. All the other Detroit players I had are still in the collection. Like I was saying, I want to do some retooling and uh, figure out where I can play them all. So just Winter Classic Datsuk's guys' uh, first game debut here. And as you can see, not looking too good. Down to nothing there after the first period. But right here, Duchesne's going to skate out front. Flying Hall there in the slot. Getting us with uh, 2 1. And they're here, guys. End of the third period. Trying to get that breakout. Unfortunately, he puts one in there, making it 3 to 1. And uh, that was the final score of the game. So, unfortunately, we got the first regulation loss of Division 2. But we're still 2 1 and 2, which isn't too bad, I think. Five games in. Uh, definitely have a chance to gain that Division 1 promotion uh, at the state we're currently at. So, anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Also, guys, I uploaded a couple of episodes out yesterday. If you missed any of those, uh, there's a playlist in the description. You can go through and find any videos you might have missed. And also, guys, the next episode is going to be a good one. It's going to be a trade day. So, uh, make sure you look out for that. I'll be excited to see what you guys send in. And besides that, guys, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye. It's the kind of beat the goal.